USS Greenling SS-213, a Gato-class submarine, was the first ship of the United States Navy to be named for the Greenling. Greenling was laid down by Electric Boat Co., Groton, Con. 12 November 1940, launched on 20 September 1941 sponsored by Mrs. R. S. Holmes, and commissioned at New London, Con. 21 January 1942, Lieutenant C.O.M.D.R., H.C. Bruton in command. <laughs> First War Patrol, April–June 1942 After shakedown training out of New London, Greenling departed 7 March 1942 for the Pacific. She arrived Pearl Harbor 3 April and sailed 20 April for her first war patrol, in the Marshall Islands and Caroline Islands. The submarine attacked the cargo ship Sea Maru four times 30 April to 1 May off Eniwetok, but due to faulty torpedoes was not able to sink her. The tenacious submarine even closed for a night gunfire attack in an attempt to cripple her adversary. Finally forced by Japanese aircraft to break off the attack, Greenling turned her attention to the huge Japanese base at Truk. As the Japanese converged on the Solomon Islands, Truk became a busy shipping point and a fertile ground for submarine operations. The submarine recorded her first kill the 4th of May when she hit cargo ship Kinjosen Maru amidships, breaking her in two. As the Japanese were turned back in the important Battle of the Coral Sea, history's first carrier air battle, Greenling attempted to intercept the retiring enemy units, but her speed was no match for the fast Japanese heavy units. The submarine departed the truck area the 4th of June, the day of Japan's first great naval defeat at the Battle of Midway, and arrived at Pearl Harbor the 16th of June. Topic: <laughs> Second War Patrol, July to September 1942. Greenling departed on her second war patrol the 10th of July 1942. One of the first submarines to operate in the truck area, she now joined in the undersea blockade of that important base, in an attempt to cut its supply lines to Japan. After damaging ships on 26 and 29 July, Greenling sank the transport Brazil Maru off truck on 5 August, and just after midnight the same night torpedoed and sank the cargo ship Palau Maru. Next morning the submarine took periscope photographs of truck, and steamed to the New Ireland area, attempting to intercept Japanese fleet units retiring from the Solomons. The submarine encountered surface opposition in the area, but evaded a destroyer attack 20 August and set course back to Midway. En route on 26 August she used her deck gun to destroy a large Japanese sampan of from 50 to 100 tons at 5 degrees 13 and 160 degrees minus 17 e. She arrived midway 1 September 1942. Third War Patrol, September to November 1942 Greenling's third war patrol took her off the Japanese home islands. Departing midway 23 September, the submarine sank the cargo ship Kinkai Maru 3 October, and Setsuyo Maru the next day. She fired three torpedoes at cargo ship Takasei Maru 14 October, scored three hits, and watched her sink in the space of six minutes. This attack brought a host of escort vessels to search for Greenling, but she evaded them and attacked a large freighter 18 October. One torpedo set the target aflame, but the second, fish, ran erratically, circled, and almost hit Greenling. The next ran true, however, and cargo ship Hakone San Maru was sent to the bottom. After destroying a sampan in the Tokyo Aleutian Islands shipping lanes the 21st of October, Greenling returned to Pearl Harbor the 1st of November. The attrition on Japanese shipping by submarines was already being felt and would be a major factor in their eventual defeat. Topic: <laughs> Fourth War Patrol, December 1942 to January 1943. 
Steaming into the Solomon's truck area for her fourth war patrol, Greenling departed Pearl Harbor 9 December 1942. Immediately upon her arrival off Bougainville 21 December she attacked a tanker and two escorts, sinking patrol boat 35 before being driven down by depth charge attacks. Moving to the familiar truck traffic lanes, she sank freighter Nisho Maru 30 December. She attacked a destroyer escorted large tanker early 10 January 1943, but after scoring one hit was fired upon by the tanker's large deck gun and was forced to break off the action. Off New Britain on 16 January she torpedoed and sank cargo ship Kimposan Maru. On 18 January Greenling claimed to have damaged ammunition transport, survey vessel, Soya, in Queen Corolla Channel, although the Japanese ship was not damaged and recovered a torpedo for later examination. Greenling then reconnoitred the Admiralty Islands before steaming to Brisbane, Australia. Topic: Fifth and Sixth War Patrols, January to July 1943. The submarine arrived Brisbane the 31st of January 1943 and remained there until departing on her fifth war patrol the 21st of February. Greenling steamed to the Solomon's Bismarck area and landed a party of intelligence agents on the coast of New Britain the 2nd of March. In a patrol characterized by bad weather, she scored no hits on enemy shipping and returned to Brisbane 26 April 1943. Greenling cleared Brisbane 17 May to conduct her sixth war patrol, in the Solomon's New Guinea area, long the scene of bitter sea and land fighting. During this patrol she damaged oiler Akabono Maru on 9 June, and is also alleged to damage ships on 10 June, and 27 June, but was unable to record a sinking because of heavy escort activity. She returned to Brisbane 8 July 1943. 7th War Patrol, July to September 1943 The submarine sailed 29 July on her 7th War Patrol, which consisted largely of special missions. She landed a party of marine raiders in the Treasury Islands 22–23 August to select a site for a radar station and prepare for the landings there, scheduled for October. Greenling reconnoitred Tarawa 10 September and sailed to San Francisco via Pearl Harbor for overhaul. Topic: Eighth and Ninth War Patrols, December 1943 to May 1944. Returning to Pearl Harbor, the 5th of December, Greenling sailed for her Eighth War Patrol, the 20th of December 1943, in the Caroline Islands. She ended the old year with a late night attack, sinking freighter Shoho Maru, reconnoitred Wake Island, and returned to Midway, the 28th of January 1944. Her Ninth War Patrol, the 20th of March to the 12th of May 1944, was a special mission entailing photographic reconnaissance of Guam, Tinian, and Saipan in the Marianas Islands, work which did much to aid the coming amphibious campaign for the Marianas. Topic: 10th and 11th War Patrols, July to November 1944. Greenling sailed from Pearl Harbor on her 10th patrol 9 July 1944. Operating off Formosa, she formed a coordinated attack unit, Wolfpack, with USS Billfish and USS Sailfish. Closely watched by enemy aircraft, Greenling recorded no torpedo sinkings, though she sank a trawler with gunfire 8 August northeast of Luzon, Philippines in position 19 degrees 50 in, 119 degrees 58 e. She returned to Midway the 12th of September 1944. The veteran submarine departed the 5th of October 1944 for her 11th war patrol in the ocean approaches to Tokyo. Sighting a five-ship convoy the 7th of November, she fired four torpedoes and sank both oiler Koto Maru and transport Kiri Maru 8. 
Continuing to prowl off Japan, Greenling sank her last ship 10 November 1944 when she torpedoed Old Destroyer Patrol Boat 46. She returned to Pearl Harbor 23 November 1944. 12th War Patrol, December 1944 to January 1945 Greenling's last war patrol, her 12th, was carried out in the Ryukyu Islands. Departing Pearl Harbor 26 December she found no targets until 24 January 1945, when she intercepted a nine-ship convoy. While making her approach, Greenling was attacked by escorts, and after a four-hour depth charge attack managed to make her escape. The submarine suffered minor damage and steamed to Saipan the 27th of January 1945 for repairs. There it was decided to send her to the United States and Greenling steamed via Pearl Harbor, San Francisco and the Panama Canal to Kittery, Maine. After overhaul at Portsmouth Naval Shipyard, the submarine decommissioned the 16th of October 1946 at New London, Connecticut. Topic: Post-war service. Greenling was placed in service for the first naval district in December 1946. Stationed at Portsmouth, she assisted in the training of reservists there and at Boston. The submarine continued this vital service until the 18th of March 1960, when she was placed out of service at Boston. She was sold the 16th of June 1960 to Minichiello Brothers, Chelsea, Massachusetts, and scrapped. Topic: <laughs> Awards. Greenling received 10 battle stars for World War II service and a Presidential Unit Citation for her outstanding performance in her first three war patrols. All her patrols except the 5th, 10th, and 12th were designated successful. <laughs>